All right, well, it's getting to be about that time of year when the car shows and drag strips all die down and winter is here. So, to winterize your classic ride, or for that matter, to make sure that your daily driver is in tip-top shape, I strongly recommend to get this right here. Now, what this little guy does is it checks your radiator fluid and it'll tell you if you have a lot of water in it or not. So you take it out like so. Now you see there's these check balls on there. Now it tells you right here what each check ball means. So for example, if you have no check balls, that is unsafe. If you have one check ball, that's plus 20 degrees. If you have two check balls, that's plus five degrees. Three check balls, that's 10 degrees. Four check balls, 25 degrees. Five check balls, that's 40 degrees. So basically 40 below. And that means you it runs at a boiling point of 227 degrees. Now when you have none, it just runs at the standard 212. And that means it's time to change your fluid. So, open it up here. Take a look. And if it's really dirty, then you know, you know it might be time to change her out and do a flush. That way it's, uh, you know, clean and ready to go for next year. Plus, you're not worried through the whole winter time of cracking the block, which your freeze plugs on the side of your motor, that'll be pushed out. If there's a lot of water in there, it'll push those freeze plugs right out. And then um, you either A, have to put it on yourself, which is a pain to do, send it out to a shop, which can be expensive, or find out that you got a cracked block. So, you put this in here like so, squeeze, oh yeah that's a good sample, so you look at it, it is all five, so we're good to go. Now if you want, what I do is I just get some water, regular tap water, and I flush all this out. That way it's nice and clean, and then it's good to go for the next time I run it. So that's good. This cap is always a pain. reason why it's a pain is because it says CNC machine cap that's why it's a pain those guys don't know how to do nothing except push a button okay so we got the test all done here now if you're a single guy you just go to the dryer and you get some of that stuff but if you're a married guy you perform the mission impossible at night and you get some fabric softener while the missus is asleep then you tell her I don't know what happened take this put it all in the car cuz mice 
really don't like this stuff. And as an added bonus, you go to the store, you get yourself a bottle of peppermint. Because mice hate peppermint. So, you get yourself a spray bottle of peppermint, spray it on this, and then you put it in the car. Mice hate it. The other thing too is your gas. Now, some people run their cars dry before they put them away, and that's fine. But some people like to leave some gas in it just in case, you know, there's a fire in the garage. Some type of emergency where you got a moved vehicle. So, you put some stabilizer fluid in it. And then that'll make it so that the gas won't rot. The other thing too, disconnect your battery. It won't dry, drain or accidentally, you know, a mouse touches one of these wires, snips it off, and then either zaps or catches the whole vehicle on fire and then you're in trouble or what I do is I take the battery completely out and I put it in the house and uh, just be mindful of it you know if you see it is leaking or whatever just take care of that and just go get a new battery or do what um, guy down the road he's a car guy what he does is he swaps out his battery every year. He gets a brand new fresh one every year. So you can do that too. It's up to you. But that's all I have uh, for this episode. How to winterize your classic ride. Or for that matter, how to use one of these to check your daily driver to make sure, you know, your daily driver, hey, you want to make sure that uh, the fluid in it's right. And you're not going to crack the block on your daily driver. It's very important for you to check that out once in a while. Especially when winter time comes. So that's all I have for now. If you guys like this content, please give a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button if you would, please. Don't forget to tap that notification bell. The algorithm knows that you like this content. Later.